What is going on guys? Babs is back. We are here and uh, yeah, I had to play six holes just to get to this one in practice mode because I tried restarting forever and the game wouldn't give me uh, this hole at all. So this hole was requested by my main man and let's see, we're going to talk about this hole. So Glenn asked, you know, how to handle this hole, number 15. So if we were to not calculate anything at all, no wind, no wind at all, just elevation, this hole would play 213 yards for me. So that's just your base number, just to keep in mind um, if you can calculate it yourself and see what you get, compare, so forth and so on. All right, so in looking at this hole, you have to keep in mind that this isn't all green. Um, okay, so I'll kind of bring the green one. In this direction here is fringe or fairway in this direction over here. So the green kind of runs out all this area. So if you go too far to the right, you know, from the player's point of view, you're not even going to be on the green. Just keep that in mind, okay? So then uphill wise, this is all uphill. And this all moves downward like this. This is all downhill. So in this right to left wind, you want to be careful. Also, you wanna check your camera angles just to make sure, because as you can see, we're pointing pretty much at the flag, which is different than number nine. If you remember, the flag was off to the right, but the aim, the picture itself was more like at the tree. So you see how I can line up the aimer with the red? That's how you know it's in line. So we're not that far off in terms of wind and all that good stuff. So if I'm gonna calculate this right here, I'm looking at roughly, yeah, 220, 221 yards. So we got a couple of options. We could hit a three iron full backspin. We could hit a three iron half spin. Hell, we could even hit a punch three wood. It's just a matter of what you want to do with the shot. So let's take a look at all three shots, shall we? So we're looking at roughly about a grid and a half of aim, but I'm gonna under aim because I don't wanna go off the green. First shot's gonna be almost a full three iron per se. Got heartbeats, ball lands. I don't know where my top tracer is. Top tracer is gone for some reason. Anyways, so we're right in this ballpark uphill putt, which is nice. And that works out well. So that's one option. We have another option, which is a half spin three iron. Same aim, let me leave the flag in. About 94% roughly. Again, got the misting, got the heartbeat, roughly the same ballpark. Two different shots, but achieving the same thing. And you ask yourself, oh, so why would I choose a half spin shot over a full spin shot? Well, depending on the wind, maybe you have more headwind and you need to reduce the amount of apex and hang time you have with a full backspin shot. So you need to use a half spin shot. Um, maybe the greens are really fast and if you hit too much full backspin shot, it'll roll too much when it hits the green and bite, kind of like on Wolf Creek. So there's various reasons for that on why you want to do these things. Now, let's say, you know, you just get ballsy and hit a uh, punch three wood just because you feel like it. So now we got a punch three wood. And now we're right in the ballpark. So three different shots all achieving roughly the same thing. And, and that's what you want to get at is understanding what's happening, getting your base number and then calculating it off of that. And again, you know, if I hit this putt over here, I just want to show you, you know, how close the fringe is to this green. So that's fairway right here, you know, and that was only, I'm only four yards away from the hole, but this is fairway right here, um, as you can see. So just getting off this area, you know, it all looks like green, but it's not. So you have to be careful whenever you're doing these things that it's not always straightforward. Um, that way you can just kind of get an idea 
of what needs to happen. Obviously, you can putt from the fairway if you want. It's kind of like a fringe. But that is the gist behind this hole is understanding. I can't go back to the <laughs> to tee box. Oh, well. That all the way to the right, the green ends, even though it looks like green and this fairway, all that good stuff. When you're up here, as you can see, we're up nine feet in this area. So that's going to be a downhill putt from this direction, downhill putt from this direction. Again, if you're ever over here, it's fairly flat. So it's all a matter of perspective on how you calculate your shots and how you get your base number and then coordinate different spins, as I showed, three different shots to all achieve heartbeats. Um, so get your mapping numbers down well and then come out here and practice these shots. So you don't know if your numbers work unless you give them a shot and then make notes. Hey, you know, I hit 90 five percent power last time and it went too long maybe i need to dial it down a bit so hope this helps understand this bit a little bit more and if y'all have any questions by all means shoot me a message and i'll see y'all soon take care